I work for an online fashion company called List and uh, basically I come from academia where I did a PhD in astrophysics but I coded a lot so I managed to get a job quite easily in industry. Um, I'm technically a data scientist but I do mostly back-end engineering uh, so loads of coding in Python mostly and then yeah so I'm here this weekend to learn a lot more about data science so I can build my first model <laughs> at work. Yes, it's, it is to apply it at work. So I'm obviously like surrounded by really smart people that do this all the time and I just wanted to be able to sort of get the right foundation to you know, move at their pace and, and try to pick it up really quickly, basically. It seemed like the right sort of, um, it, it covers the right material or the right, the right topics I was after, so that's why I just felt like it was really relevant. So obviously I, I enjoyed the second day a lot more so far just because it's, it's a bit deeper and it's a bit more intense but I, I like that. Yes, it was really interesting. I knew most of it but I still wanted to attend it because I thought it would be really useful in, in, in a way that like I heard, I heard it being explained by other people in a different way so the analogies were really good and um, also it's, it was great to meet people like obviously I got to meet quite a few people last night uh, during the drink so it was, uh, it was really useful for that. So the plan is to basically, so List is an online fashion aggregator so we've got millions of products in terms of like clothes and shoes and bags and jewellery and everything and we have a lot of images so that's where the deep learning comes into account where that's a lot of my data and also we have a lot of uh, descriptions of products so that's also where deep learning can be useful because in terms of like dealing with um, natural language and stuff like natural language processing and the plan is to basically be able to build a model that will detect um, material or like fabric of products and so I, I don't know where I'm going to start from but that's that's basically what my next plan is. Or. So um, I basically come from an astrophysics background initially so I thought like a side an interesting side project would be to classify stars so that would be like my next toy <laughs> really. I'm sure it's, it's been done already but I just wanted to build it myself and see how how good I can get of a model based like to classify the types of stars that I worked on during my PhD. I'm actually really glad I came because in, in this case I found it really useful in the sense that it's very hands-on so you are actually as they're explaining they give you time to, to stop and code and work it out even though there's a little bit of copy and pasting but you can you can choose to just read it or to actually do it see your results and I think that's that's a really good way to pick things up quickly like it's um, I think it's it's a better way to do it than just sitting there in lecture rooms and taking notes or following someone just you know talking about something. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's been it's been really good in that sense. And then obviously I said it in the beginning, but meeting people was super useful because it's interesting that we all come from very different backgrounds and very different um, sort of jobs. Like some people here code every day and others don't code at all. And some people deal with like really big data and others deal with medium data. Some people are just students, they don't know what they want to do. So yeah, no, it's, it's like a great range of people and it's, um, it's, really, it's really good in that way as well.